Yeah, so on the way down to Horace Fakion, uh, Elizabeth from Germany, and uh, she was hitchhiking. She's she's got plans to stay down there, so just taking a ride with Elizabeth this from Germany. Is my face. <laughs> she's got so many good stories from all the years she's been coming to Crete, so it's been a, a real pleasurable ride. And uh, and and here's what we're gonna say: There's no, no life, life like the good life. life. Ah, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna hike to Lutro now. I parked the car over in Horace Fakian down there. I got a taxi driver to drop me off here at the trailhead, and we're gonna hike down there to uh, Sweetwater Beach, Glicanera. And if you look uh, on my YouTube channel from a couple years ago, we hiked down there, Sweetwater Beach. But beyond there, about another hour of a hike is to Lutro, which we saw on the ferry yesterday. So it's game time now only because I was planning on hiking to Lutro and then taking a ferry back to Horace Vacchion that I parked the car in Horace Vacchion and took a taxi up to the trailhead. Seven euro. A couple up there was from Italy. They're getting ready to hike but they're standing up there strategizing how to negotiate the cliff before they start. It was funny. I told them my last name was Cassano. As always, any relation to Antonio Cassano? But nope. Wish there was. Yesterday's hike of the Samaria Gorge and then the 15 times I woke up while sleeping last night with my calves in pain, my legs in pain. It's like my whole body hurt from that hike. I didn't think I was going to do this today, but you know what? Can YOLO. Now, whatever you do, don't film and hike because you see how... Uh, this trail is not much of a trail. It's just a bunch of rocks. So one bad slip and you're down there. But that water is so freaking money down there. I wonder if you can cliff jump, actually, from there. If you were wondering, yes, today I got sunscreen. I put it on and I threw it in my bag, so I'm prepared. Yeah, the story behind that, if you watched my previous videos from this vacation, is I forgot sunscreen. I brought enough hair gel for the whole island to Crete, but I forgot the sunscreen. And uh, for two days I was so active and busy I forgot to pick some up. And I actually got blisters on my nose and shit like that. So I finally got some for this hike, loaded up on the sunscreen, and put some in my bag. Uh, you can see the trail here is kind of hairy. It's a straight down drop. If you're uh, filming and talking and not paying attention to what you're doing, but it's so money. Last time I hiked it, I missed this turn to come up here and head up the trail. And I ended up climbing over all those rocks and had to get the trail up there. He learns from his past mistakes. So I made sure to look out for that this time. Because you could see what a pain in the ass it is. Climb up there is about where I had to get the trail again. Not that bad of a pain in the ass, but you know, it's easier just to stay on the trail. It's like that, we're down by the water. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Almost got there a little quicker than I wanted to. So you can see the ferry back there, and you can get to Lutro by taking the ferry, but then you would miss out on all this foot pain, ankle pain, knee pain, joint pain. Why would you fing do that? Ah, uh, no, VFC's making jokes, but I always recommend doing a hike at least one way in, in a route, and get the ferry the other time if you want to take a ferry. It's nice, you get a glass of wine and all. My joints are just extra aching today because I did the Samaria Gorge the day prior, and I did Ballas Beach trip in Vi. I've been pretty active. Everybody almost saw a little bit more than they wanted to see back there. Just walked past the Nunes Colony. Classic. So Sweetwater is a half nude beach, if you recall from my previous videos, and it looks like in this half people don't like making a walk across to go to the bathroom, so they just use the rocks. Uh, quite a few nude and topless beachgoers out today, but BFC respects privacy, so you're not going to see them on the video. Now this made me laugh. I'm going through my stills, I found this, and that looks like BFC's face when he sees one of those lady nudists that doesn't use the hedge clippers enough. Like I said in my previous videos, nothing wrong with new beaches, but come on, keep that shit neat, will ya? A little landing strip, anything, a case of rescue planes gotta come in? Come on now, you gotta do something with that. Meanwhile, VFC's just absolutely loving this freaking water and these views. 
Sweetwater is absolutely one of my favorite beaches on Crete, without a doubt. No life like the good life. Ah, yeah. Funny too, so on the way in we passed the nudist, and uh, I'd never seen hot nudist till today, so that was a treat. That is true, there were a couple 10 out of 10s over there too. Now it's time to go for some of that holy water, and then uh, hike up over that cliff there to get to Lutro. The thing is too, once you're in the zone in these places, it's so hard to pull yourself away. You just wanted to stand there for the rest of my vacation. I also wanted wine too, so you can't have everything you want VFC. But I got these great views, great selfie spot going on, and then the water taxi starts dropping more people off from Horace Vacchion. Ah, uh, yeah. I know I've said it enough this trip, but it's so good to see people out vacationing again. Finish up this glass of wine, I mean water, and then uh, we'll head up over the cliff to go to the trip. So you can hear all those mountain goats up on the mountain as I'm heading up the trail to Lutro. And one of them says a quick goodbye right at the end of the clip. Adios, Sweetwater. Off to Lutro.